My name is Victor Gonzalez. I'm the curator of collections and exhibitions here at the Bakerson Museum of Art. I'm going to introduce you to Brian Ida's retrospective today, titled Life of Change. And so Brian Ida used to, was once an assistant of uh, the abstract expressionist Sam Francis. And through Sam, he, got, he was able to learn what was his next visual language besides music. So he would play around at his studio when he had extra canvas, paper, paint, charcoal. And that really allowed him to experiment and explore about expression and movement and color, as you see here. Um, it's very indicative in, of Sam's style, but also it's very Brian as where he was playing with colors and how they moved around and really expressed emotion and depth to him. But often he would also just pull back and play with just black and whites to kind of play with dimensions of art and how that moved and worked on a canvas. He was really learning and trying and playing around with that. And sometimes even different shapes of canvases here, as you can see, circular ones. So this first area of the time here from 1993 to 97, which is this room of these earlier works of his career, is all about him exploring and finding that, 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 that area for him to play with color and palette, which was what Sam always did as well. Um, as you can see here on this far wall, we had the three first paintings that Brian Ida ever created, smaller in scale, but very vibrant in color. But then he began to pull back and really go forward with something different which is what we'll find in this next room here by, by Brian Ida is when he decided to really pull, forward, pull away from Sam's identifiable style and really identify himself as, a, as an artist playing with different techniques and motives and subject matter. For example, here we have the Renaissance series, which is what he appropriately titles, which is an homage to a technique used during the 15th and 16th centuries when artists used many layers of paint to build a transparent, luminous black instead of a flat black. Or he would often play with the foreground, middle ground, and background in his leaf series here and kind of move back and forth between color and subject matter and how everything relates to one another. Uh, Brian Ida would often then try to add more representation to his work, whether it be not just gestural and abstraction. That's where you find here the, flo the floral series or the light series um, from many other types of works that he has. He was playing with forms now, but forms that are identifiable. It was really it's something that he was always moving forward. He didn't like to have the same body of work. He would change his work from every four to five years. He didn't like to be stagnant as an artist, hence the name Life of Change for his show. So as you can see on this far wall, we have both nature and water next to each other here. But he's playing with also still geometric forms and shadows and lights and depth in his work. And then we went forward to what is now called the Context Series, which allowed Brian to kind of focus on and examine parts of historical events through social and political climates and current ideas and things that have happened to specific marginalized communities, whether it be um, women or uh, immigrants or uh, individuals who are, feel like they're targeted by specific legislation. He did that all by, the, by using contemporary figures and then contexting them or using the words from government and legislation or declarations to kind of create these bodies of work that are actually created by words from those particular government documents that help identify and dictated what those individuals' lives and how it affected them. Some are about the bylaws from the NRA, some are about abortion, some are even about um, the internment camps that Japanese Americans were forced into during World War II, and also just sometimes social media tweets that public figures post and will actually affect other communities as well. So through all this body of work that Brian has done, he was always evolving, always experimenting, always informing the next thing over and over, which he now finally gets to, whether in context in nature and water, is an artist who has evolved his message. It is about being an empath, an activist, an artist, and giving a platform to those communities who don't often have those areas to speak for themselves. So we're happy to celebrate Brian Ida's first museum retrospective for his artist career of 30 plus years here at the Bakerson Museum of Art titled Life of Change.